Welcome back to Living 757. Now, Thanksgiving is that time of year where food and family are cherished the most. And of course, we got our favorite TV family member, Karen from Cooking from the Heart, joining us today with a very tasty recipe with cranberries. Karen, first of all, welcome back to Living 757 and welcome back to the studio. I know, it's so <laughs> great to be here. I have missed you guys so much. Yeah, well, so, we missed thank you, you as well. Me back. And you got a tasty thing for us. So tell I us do. what you're going to be doing. So we're making cranberry sauce, and I know it can be very controversial. People love it or hate it. Right. Um, and I grew up with the kind in the can that kind of you dump it down, and it's like this and it shakes and it's weird. Mm -hmm. And so I was never super fond of it. I mean, you know, it's great. I mean, some people love that it. That sound and, you know, reminds me yeah. of so much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So anyways, I thought I'd try, try it from a fresh cranberry and fresh is always best. Right. And this is really great. It's super simple. It takes no time to make it. Well, like 12 minutes. 12 minutes. So we're going right. to start with fresh cranberries. And this is a 12 ounce bag of cranberries. And you're just going to put them in a pot at medium heat. Just dump Ooh. them in there, and you need some liquid, and I'm going to use orange juice. Can you oh, pass me that jar? I thought this was for me for my vitamin C. Well, that's later. Okay. All right, so I'll <laughs> give it to you. Thank you, Quincy. Okay. <laughs> so we have half a cup of orange juice here, and we're just going to dump that in. If you don't like orange juice, you can use water, um, but orange juice adds a little bit more flavor. A little bit more flavor. I got you. A little more flavor. Okay. Then we're going to add some sugar. I've got a cup of sugar. A cup of sugar. Now, can I pour this? You can. I just want you to, to pour Yes. Do I dump it, or do I just sprinkle well, it? Well, now, now dump it towards the camera. We, you oh, know, okay, this is okay. TV here, Quincy. You know Come what? I'm, I'm still learning. I'm not on the cooking show. Like dump it all in okay. there. Boom. Oh, don't that's be a afraid of your cranberries. It's a cup. A, but you just eat a little bit of cranberry it's sauce. A cup. It's a jar. It's a jar it's of sugar. A calm down, Quince. It's just a cup. <laughs> it's just a cup. Man and up. <laughs> we've got a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm going to dump that in there. I'm going to stir oh. while you dump. Teaspoon of vanilla. Teaspoon Ooh, of vanilla, right. yeah. All right. And I like to add a little more flavor. So I've got an eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. So cinnamon. Dump that okay, in there. Now you definitely don't want to just eat this raw, right? No. Okay. And there was that challenge. You remember that? Yes. When people were eating like and they I were getting sick it. or and, and, something bad. And somebody from the team was trying to get me to participate in that, and I'm not going to mention who that just, person was. Just say no. No to peer pressure. <laughs> <laughs> they were just trying to get me off the show. I know what it was. So do you know what that is? <laughs> this is a, a walnut. It's nutmeg. I was close. You were close. There was nut in there. Okay. Boom. Right there. All right. So. <laughs> no, you don't dump that in. Oh, you don't? <laughs> no. I was going to wonder so, how you stir that. You can get this ground in the little jars at the store, but it's better if you cut, if you get the whole nutmegs. And this is a microplane, which okay. actually used to be a carpenter's tool that people used for, I don't know, wood stuff. Smoothing out wood. Yeah. Okay. And they found it was really good for cooking, for grating stuff and for stuff like nutmeg. So you just take the little nut. Okay. And you're just going to grate it in like that. I don't know if you can see it going in there. I can see Ooh. it. It looks like snow. Now, when you do this as a person that's in the kitchen a lot, uh, cooking, like, do you have to, let me look at your fingers. Let me make sure that you know. They are, they are scar free. <laughs> <laughs> Got you. Okay. Last thing is we're going to put the zest of one orange in there. One orange. Okay. And this is great for that too, because it just takes off the orange part. You don't want to get the bitter white in there. Right. So okay. you do the whole orange, but we're kind of short on time. Okay. And you would mix it up, bring it to a boil, and right. it'll boil for about 10 minutes, mm. and then just cool it down. And once it cools down, it's gonna thicken, and you're gonna end up with this beautiful, Ooh. lovely cranberry sauce. So, to, okay, okay, so the first thing, I need to taste that. Yes, okay. you do. Uh, secondly, for the viewers out there, do you know of any health benefits from cranberry? Well, cranberries are superfood. Just like any dark colored fruit, like blueberries, the darker the fruit, the better it's going to be for you. And cranberries are really good for your um, keeping your urinary tract healthy. Oh, well, you Yeah, know, so if you're starting to feel a little funky, start drinking the cranberry juice. Because you said the darker the fruit. I heard the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. <laughs> well, that too. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, well. So what do you think? That is really good. That's good, isn't it? That's good. I can taste the oranges. I can taste the orange juice. I can taste the... Um, the cinnamon and a nutmeg. Yeah. And Nicely so done. Th this has turned some non-cranberry people into cranberry people. Into cranberry people. Yes, and cranberry usually... sauce people. Mm. It's good, huh? And then after for, for leftovers, you get a little turkey, put a little bit of that on the bread, make a little sandwich, or put it in puff pastry and bake it, and it's like this turkey cranberry little now, turnover. Now, now you... You can also, now this is, this is what it looks like. Look at that. Ah! Oh, 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 look, I almost spilled it on camera. Waste look, it. Okay, look down here, okay, all right, and you guys there see you this. Go. So this can go on with this turkey or stuffing and things of that nature, right? Yeah, and my 10-year-old, she just turned 11, 11-year-old 11 loves it, and she was actually thinking of trying to make it into like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I don't know about Peanut that. butter and jelly sandwich. Now, look, you thank you know. so much. Thank you so much, Karen, <laughs> for stopping by. Now, uh, for our viewers out there, they can actually catch your show right here on your view on channel Absolutely. 60 right yep. um, it's it's during the week but 
Yep, they it can, just kind of runs all throughout the week, different times. So and check they can out your also guide. Find you. you see it right there on the screen. They can also find you on your Instagram and also on Facebook as well.